Welcome to English Mastery. Today, John and his friends will learn grammar and mistakes when using prepositions while communicating. You listen to the conversation and repeat it many times so your brain can remember more vocabulary. Let's get started. Hi, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Hi, John. I'm Emily. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. How about you? I'm from New York. What do you do for a living? I work at a software company as a developer. I mainly work on improving our app's performance. What about you? I work in marketing at a media company. I create content for social media and manage our campaigns. That sounds interesting. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I do. It's creative and challenging. What do you like about your job? I enjoy solving problems and seeing the results of my work. It's satisfying to see improvements in the app. I can understand that. What do you do in your free time? I like to go hiking on weekends and read books. What about you? I enjoy painting and playing the guitar. I also like to travel when I have time. That's cool. Do you travel often for work? Sometimes, for conferences or meetings. It's nice to see new places. Do you travel for your job? Not really. I mostly work from the office, but sometimes I work from home. Working from home sounds convenient. How do you find the balance between work and personal life? It can be challenging, but I try to stick to a schedule and take breaks. How do you manage your time? I use a planner to keep track of my tasks and make sure to set aside time for relaxation. That's a good idea. It was great getting to know you, Emily. You too, John. Let's stay in touch. Definitely. Have a great day. You too. Have you listened carefully to the conversation? Here's how to use prepositions in conversation. Incorrect. I work on a software company. Correct. I work at a software company. Explanation. Work at is used to indicate the place of employment, while work on refers to a task or project. Incorrect. I enjoy solving problems and seeing the results on my work. Correct. I enjoy solving problems and seeing the results of my work. Explanation. Results of is used to show the outcome of a particular action or effort. Incorrect. I like to go hiking in weekends. Correct. I like to go hiking on weekends. Explanation. On weekends is the correct prepositional phrase for indicating the time period. Incorrect. Sometimes for conferences or meetings, it's nice to see new places. Do you travel on your job? Correct. Sometimes for conferences or meetings, it's nice to see new places. Do you travel for your job? Explanation. Travel for is used to indicate the purpose of traveling, whereas travel on is not used in this context. Incorrect. I use a planner to keep track of my tasks and make sure to set aside time to relaxation. Correct. I use a planner to keep track of my tasks and make sure to set aside time for relaxation. Explanation. Time for is used to indicate a period dedicated to a specific activity. Hey, Anna, where should we go for our next trip? 
Hi, Emily. I was thinking about going to Paris. What do you think? Paris sounds amazing. What about food? Where should we eat? I've heard there are great cafes near the Eiffel Tower. We can try those. Perfect. Have you thought about where we should stay? Yes, I found a nice hotel in the city center. It's close to the main attractions. That's great. Do we need to book any tours or activities in advance? I think we should book a tour for the Louvre Museum. It's always busy. Good idea. What about transportation? We can use the metro. It's convenient and not too expensive. Awesome. I'm so excited for this trip. Me too. It's going to be so much fun. Here's how to use prepositions in conversation. Error. What about food? Where should we eat in? Correction. What about food? Where should we eat? Explanation. The preposition in is unnecessary in this context. The question is about the location of the restaurant, not whether they should eat inside. Error. I've heard there are great cafes near to the Eiffel Tower. Correction. I've heard there are great cafes near the Eiffel Tower. Explanation. The preposition to is not needed after near when referring to proximity. Error. I found a nice hotel in the city center. Correction. I found a nice hotel in the city center. Error. Do we need to book any tours or activities in advance of? Correction. Do we need to book any tours or activities in advance? Explanation. The preposition of is redundant after in advance. The phrase means beforehand or ahead of time. Error. We can use the metro. It's convenient and not too expensive for. Correction. We can use the metro. It's convenient and not too expensive. Explanation. The preposition for is not needed at the end of this sentence. It would be more appropriate if the sentence compared the metro's cost to something else. Hey, Lisa, what are you making? Oh, just a simple salad for lunch. It looks delicious. What's in it? Just some lettuce, tomatoes from my garden, and cucumber. Sounds refreshing. What's that on top? Feta cheese. I love the salty flavor with the veggies. Me too. What dressing are you using? Just a little olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Simple and perfect. Mind if I try some? Of course. Grab a fork from the drawer. Thanks. Mmm, this is so good. I might have to make this myself. It's super easy. Just chop everything up and toss it together. Perfect for a hot day like today. Here's how to use prepositions in conversation. Prepositional phrase for lunch. Structure, preposition, for, plus, noun, lunch. Example, I'm making a sandwich for lunch. Prepositional phrase from my garden. Structure, preposition, from, plus, noun, phrase, my garden. Example, the apples are from my garden. Prepositional phrase, on top structure, preposition on, plus noun top. Example, there's a cherry on top of the cake. Prepositional phrase, with the veggies, structure, preposition with, plus noun phrase, the veggies. Example, I like to eat chicken with rice. Prepositional, phrase from the drawer, structure, preposition from plus noun. Phrase the drawer. Example, take a spoon from the drawer.
Misuse of prepositions is common in English. Please watch English Mastery regularly to learn more grammar and vocabulary. Remember, never give up. See you in the next videos.